if P1 and P2 are the populations and R1 and R2 are the number of representatives of districts 1 and 2 respectively, the ratio of the population to the number of representatives is greater for which of the two districts. So we're comparing P1 over R1 to P2 over R2, and we'd like to know of these two which one is bigger. So statement number one tells us that P1 is greater than P2. So District 1 has a larger population, but this statement by itself tells us zero about the number of representatives. We know nothing about the number of representatives, so nothing about the ratio. This statement by itself is insufficient. Now forget statement number one, block it out of your head, focus only on statement number two. Statement number two says that the number of representatives in district two is greater than the number of representatives in statement number one. Well now, we know nothing about the populations. And because we know nothing about the populations, we can't figure out anything about the ratios. So this statement is still insufficient. Now, because both statements are insufficient, we looked at the combined statements. What happens when we combine statement number one with statement number two? Well, now things get kind of interesting. Because if I look at P1 over R1, I know that P1 is bigger than P2. So if I change the, the numerator, from P1 to P2, I'd get a smaller fraction. I also know that R2 is larger than R1. And so if I were to make the denominator, change it from R2, from R1 to R2, I'd be making the denominator bigger, and making the denominator bigger makes the fraction even smaller. And so this actually does give us enough information to see that P1 over R1 is bigger than P2 over R2. The combined statements are sufficient. Answer choice C.